Welcome back to reintroduce this channel. This is a reality where we not only learn how you impact the ocean, but how does the ocean impact you in return. We are going to look at the epibiologic zone. That is the topmost layer of the entire ocean. There are two essential phenomena that highlights the zone. The first is the visible light spectrum. The second is the microbial loop. When talking about the visible light spectrum, I'm talking about roji beef or red orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, and how it interacts with the ocean. In this scenario, light is treated as a wave, and the ocean's molecules are packed closer than in air. This creates a staircase effect as the light penetrates through the ocean layers. The first color to collide right away is red at 25 meters. Being that it has the longest wavelength of all the visible colors, followed by orange, yellow, green, and lastly blue, these measurements can be less or more depending on a variety of factors but the order is mostly the same. Except violet. That one's tricky because violet would have been eliminated by the time it enters the water, even though it has the shortest wavelength. This is why the ocean, for the most part, is blue, not violet. This is also why most underwater pictures come out blue. You can combat this by adding a light source such as shining a flashlight or putting on flash or just let AI do it for you. As for the microbial loop, Another term you will see almost in tandem is DOM, or Dissolved Organic Matter. You start off with the phytoplankton that gets their energy from sunlight. To get the DOM, the phytoplankton either needs to produce chemical compounds, such as sugars, amino acids, or lipids, have parts of it removed or judge completely die off. Bacteria can come along and absorb the DOM as their food source. Then zooplankton can choose to eat either one of them and then they will produce their own. Finally, heterotrophic bacteria can remineralize all of it into nutrients for the phytoplankton to start all over again. Generally, it forms a loop, but more often than not, it creates crisis. This is usually as far as the everyday person will go due to depth and the temperature starting to drop where you need to trade your snorkeling wet shoots for scuba dry shoots. The next layer we will go over is the metropolagic as we go from light to dark. did this part into the video, then props to you, and I applaud your commitment. As a gift to you, I offer you to email me any questions that you have about this video, marine science careers, or any other thing, and I will reply to you 
ASAP. If you could do something for me, that would be great. By doing KBT, what I mean by that? Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you will get alerts when I post a new video. And as always, cheers and keep diving in.